Chancellor, sir, the Federal University of Technology, MENA, on the recommendation of Senate and with the approval of Council, has found Malem Melek Kolokiari, the Group Managing Director, Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation Limited, worthy to be conferred with the honorary degree of Doctor of Engineering, D.N.G. Honoris Causa of the Federal University of Technology, MENA. I therefore call on the University Orator to present the honorary graduates. University Orator, please. With all due respect, please may I request that the honorary degree recipient rise and remain standing. Chancellor, sir, I present to you on this momentous occasion, Mile Kolo Kiari, the CEO. GMD of the NMPC Limited for recognition and decoration with a befitting honor. Malam Mele Kiari, the 19th Group Managing Director of National, Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and the first CEO and GMD of the NMPC Limited is a gentle and humble individual who was described by the Guardian newspapers as the man with admired touch for his unrivaled success in boosting Nigeria's crude oil reserves to 40 billion barrels and boosting the nation's oil and gas production. In another report credited to this day newspaper, many of the staff at NMPC Towers consider Malam Kiari as a model servant leader whose actions inspire, motivate, and empower others to produce the best. Seen to be a round peg in the round hole, these thoroughbred professional of the extractive industry came with over 27 years of practical experience in the oil and gas industry. He worked his way through the entire value chain armed with the requisite certification and expertise in petroleum economics and crude oil and gas trading. In the words of William Penn, an able and a yet humble man is a jewel worth a kingdom. This aptly describes Malam Kiari. Born in Barno State, Maiduguri specifically, on the 8th of January 1965, Kiari attended Government Community Secondary School in Bew, Barno State, between, the, between 1977 and 1982, and proceeded to the University of Maiduguri where he obtained his Bachelor of Science in Geology and Earth Science in 1987. Malam Kiari worked with the Nigerian Geological Survey Agency between 1988 to 1991 as a field geologist and then joined NMP6 subsidiary Integrated Data Services Limited where he worked as a seismic data processing geophysicist between 1991 and 1998 in the data processing department. Unknown to him, destiny 
was preparing him to play a very significant role in the oil and gas industry of Nigeria. Kiari was employed in NAPIMS as an exploration geophysicist in the production sharing contract, PSC, in 1991. And he became the Abuja operations manager in 2004, and then supervisor, PSC, in 2006, in the crude oil marketing department. He was manager of production contracts management between 2007 and 2014. He became the general manager, oil stock management, where he worked until 2015, when he was appointed group general manager. These highly proficient and exemplary public servant was appointed the GMD NMPC in 2019. His history in unionism and activism also shaped his view on accountability and trans transparency. He was popularly referred to as Grand Chairman because of his stint as the group chairman of NMPC Pengerson in 1997 and 1999. Through his peacemaking ability, he helped resolve disputes with international oil companies arising from the various interpretation issues with the PSC. And in 1993, he became a member of the team that carried out a review of the 1993 PSC process. In 2007, Harry won the GMD prize for the overall best performance for NMPC management development program and the GED CS award for the best performance for NMPC, best performance in leadership. Several years later in 2018, he led the OPEC's Economic Commission Board charged with reviewing the global oil market. One of the successful initiatives by him include commodity trading initiative aimed at ensuring transparency and accountability in NMPC operations, such that buyers of Nigerian crude know the prices and total sales before sales are made. Also, he led a team that proposed and managed from 2016 till to date the direct sales and direct purchase arrangement of petroleum products. <laughs> Mele Kiari led NMPC to actualize mega projects such as the commissioning of the NMPC Oredo International Gas Handling Facility and numerous others, too much to mention. However, under Kiari's watch, the Petroleum Industry Bill was passed in July 2021 and signed into law. He has allayed fears in some quarters that the BIB bill will not affect the transition to clean energy. The Abiokuta, Kaduna, and Keno, specifically the AKK project, mega pipeline project, whose construction commenced in 2020, is a step in that direction alongside the recently established renewable energy division in the corporation. The GMD has walked his talk. In his drive to ensure transparency and accountability in NMPC, and he has carried global stakeholders along the journey of his leadership. Under his watch, for the first time, the NMPC published the corporation website in the corporation website for all to access and scrutinize in 20, the 2018 and 2019 audited financial statements of the corporation and its subsidiaries registered under the Companies and Allied Act Matters Act 1990 as amended, alongside that of National Petroleum Investment and Management Services to provide clarity to unjoined venture finances. NMPC is reported to be 
the only national oil company that publishes its financial and operations report monthly. Kiari has also led the corporation to enlist with the Global Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative as an AT supporting company whose mandate places NMPC in the group of over 65 extractive companies, state-owned enterprises that are committed to observed, observing transparency and accountability standards as defined by IIT. Additionally, twen in 2012, a controversy-free recruitment exercise for 1,000 young graduate trainees to rejuvenate the corporation's talent mix was successfully completed in the corporation. Of course, Kiari's role in ensuring that the oil and gas industry contributed towards resolving COVID-19 issue in Nigeria cannot be forgotten. Indeed. Honorable Chancellor, sir, a man who has demonstrated such transparency and accountability in achieving feats that are rare in the apex oil and gas industry in Nigeria has attracted the attention of the Council and the Senate of the Federal University of Technology, MENA, in the institution's commitment to giving honor to whom honor is due. It is the unanimous decision of the Council and the Senate of this great institution to confer on Malam Milei Kolo Kiari, the CEO, GMD, NMPC Limited, the degree of Doctor of Engineering, Honoris Causa, Federal University of Technology, MINA. It is therefore my singular honor and privilege to invite you, sir, to effect, to effect the confirmment of the degree. By the powers confirmed on me as the Chancellor, in the name of Senate and Council, I confirm on you the honorary degree of Doctor of Engineering, Honoris Causa, of the Federal University of Technology, MENA. Thank you. I now invite Malem Melek Kolokiari, the Group Managing Director, NMPC Limited, to please present the acceptance speech.
you very much, Bismillah uh, Rahim. I don't know where to start from, rather than to say I'm very sorry for coming late. I do not like giving excuses because no excuse is sufficient when you come late for an event. And therefore, Your Excellencies, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sorry for coming late. Uh, beyond this, Your Excellencies, uh, I'm profoundly grateful for being given the opportunity by Mr. President to be the Group Managing Director of the NNPC, and thereafter also appointed as the first CEO of the NNPC Limited. And no doubt it's a privilege, and I'm not sure I'm the best person he can find around, but he did appoint me, and he just didn't stop at that. He also allowed me to make decisions and own them without any interference. And I may explain how we are able with my team to do the best that we can so that this company that belongs to the 200 million Nigerians serves the 200 million Nigerians. And the only way this company can serve Nigerians is to be accountable to them, to be transparent to them, to let them know what you do on their behalf, and also exert all possibilities to make sure that this company delivers value to our country. Your Excellencies, you may also recall that energy is everything. There is no country that has developed anywhere, and my colleague, uh, traditional, will, will bear me witness, that you cannot have prosperity, you cannot have economic development, except you have energy. That it doesn't, it's not possible. Therefore, this company is the only vehicle today we have that can help us get to the position of economic development and prosperity. As we speak today, there is abject energy poverty. And of course, uh, over 50% of our population do not have access to, to energy. But this can change because we have enormous resources, particularly gas resources, that we can deliver into our country and through the infrastructures that we are trying to build so that ultimately in another three to four years that this country will not be in the situation of energy poverty while recognizing there are issues around energy transition that are going on. But the first challenge we have is to resolve the issues around energy poverty and energy transition that we have to deal with. Your Excellency, now coming back to the protocols and permit me, Your Excellency, that uh, I would like to acknowledge the presence of Dede Joe Bakure, the Pro Chancellor of the University, His Eminence, and Amrul Muminil, the Sultan of Sokoto, Your Excellency, Governor, and my brother. And also, former, Vice, former President of the Salami Abubakar, who will all respect Your Excellency. And Your Other Excellencies, the too numerous to mention, but needless to say that uh, it is an honor and privilege standing before you. I am not sure I deserve this, but certainly it is a privilege of time that brought me here and that for the university to recognize that people can make contributions if they are not deterred, if they are not stopped, and also if they are given the best of circumstance to perform. And I have the privilege of having this combination. And I'm grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making it work. Because without the blessings of Allah, you really can do very little. And I'm happy to be here. I will be, continue to be the advocate and ambassador of this university. In every ramification possible. But more importantly, for the young people, this is the world of technology today. Things are changing much more rapidly than we can ever imagine. Dr. Adeshina mentioned this. But that things change in such a speed that many of us, including me, I'm 57, even at my age, is difficult to follow. And therefore, for the young people here, the prosperity is yours, the future is yours, but the future is so short that children and young people must learn skills, not just acquire certificates. And once you have skills, the world will need you and you become part of the journey of progress that this country deserves. And I believe that this country will be a great place. Thank you very much.